The final item we can take a look at is Photos. Photos is relatively new in the system, and it's a way for you to see the entire photographic history of your job. So whether a photo is, has been taken here uh, from the camera button, and simply photos were taken, observation photos, or the photos associated with a given issue, a given checklist. You're able to view them in here, um, see the date and time, the author, what they're associated to, um, really a good centralized location and database here of all the photos captured on your job. So you're looking at the existing issues here, I've act, or existing photos here, excuse me. I've actually sorted them by date. Notice here you could sort by author, by location, by type. Um, a great workflow that I've seen teams use is sorting by location, and they're taking progress photos, um, you know, as builds or in wall, above ceiling type uh, photographs sorted by location. So you're looking at a, a, a chronological history of a given location, of a given room, of a given building um, with some of those commonalities, those associations such as in wall, um, as built, above ceiling. I could certainly search through my photos here and I can hit the photo button, the camera button here, and I can add to this database of, of photographs. So notice I can simply snap photos. There's one two, three, and four. So there they are. There are those photos. I can then hit the sync button and these will be available for all the users on my team. I could hit this add issue button and, and maybe group certain photos here that relate to an issue I'd like to log. A new function here in the system but one that we're seeing a lot of buy-in from our teams uh, in terms of how they're utilizing it how they're capturing um, observations out in the field, uh, managing that data, reporting it on that data, uh, and distributing it to the necessary stakeholders.